Hi, my name is Ashton, and welcome back to Ashton's EDC. Today I'm doing a video on pens, uh, specifically EDC pens. Um, if you've ever watched any of my other uh, videos, you might have already caught on that I really love pens. I carry more than one with me every day. Um, I love writing, I love pens, so I have quite a collection here. And so I've gathered a bunch of them that I really enjoy carrying for EDC, whether it's on person or in a pouch or in a bag or something like that. But all of these are pens that I like to have on me for EDC. I've got quite a number here um, sitting on the table, so I'll just go through them one by one. These aren't in any particular order, um, just kind of going through them as, as I have them laid out. First up, I've got this pen. This is a pen from Right in the Rain. Um, this is just a really clean, um, there's no, no branding on it anywhere that I can see. It's all in this matte black, and uh, it has, uses the, the push, so the, even though the, this seems like it might be the cap, you just push on it and then it comes out. Um, really nice pen, it's made of, I think it's made of an aluminum or something like that, so it's really durable. And it uses this right in the rain um, insert. Um, I'm not sure if there's a model number on here or something like that, but it's a pretty standard insert. Um, it says number 37R, if that's um, the insert number, I'm not sure, but um, this, I think this one is using the pressurized insert as well, so um, being from right in the rain, you can write in the water and upside down and all that kind of thing. But just a really nice, um, pretty nice, simple, but nice pen from right in the rain. Uh, I've got another one from Right in the Rain, might as well share as well. Um, I don't know the names for some of these ones, but there's this one here. Kind of interesting, it has this on this section from here to here. It's got this kind of rubbery feeling, it makes it a really nice grip. Just a kind of classic uh, click pen. But yeah, writes really nice. Um, nothing too fancy, but still a really nice, reliable pen. Next up, one of my favorites, one of maybe even one of my first pens that got me into uh, to EDC is the Park Parker Jotter. Got a super nice clicky um, sound and action. So that has got a really nice feel. Um, got a nice clip. My clip's a bit bent because um, I had to bend it out to get. It got stuck in one of my backpacks or something like that quite a while ago, but. Really nice, uh, nice pen. Um, reliable, right? Super smooth. Really nice uh, pen for EDC. Uh, next up, I've got some rollerball pens. So so far, those few have been ballpoint pens. Rollerball pens, is something I've been getting into a bit more, um, just in the past um, several months or so. I just really like the way they feel and write. Uh, it's just a really smooth. Uh, writing experience. So this is one from um, Stabilo, um, one of their rollerball pens. It's called the Stabilo Black. Uh, you can see there. Really nice feeling. It's got this, um, again, kind of rubbery grip here. Um, really nice, really nice feeling and uh, feel in hand. It's got the cap here, um, which can also be posted on the back there as well while writing. Really nice uh, rollerball pen from Stabilo. A couple more rollerball pens. One of my newer ones, but also one of my most favorite ones as of late is this one from Kaweco. I think this is called the Kaweco Perkyo rollerball pen. Comes in this really nice black um, all the way around. And it does say Kaweco right there, if you can see that, but it doesn't show very very much, which I like. Makes it really nice and sleek. I added this um, pocket clip on afterwards. It doesn't come with it. But I think the black and this kind of bronze color pocket clip looks really nice. Right, it's really smooth. Um, nice, it's pretty long, long pen, um, which is nice. Um, but one of my favorites. Uh, I think this is the newest pen that I've got. I got this about a month ago, um, but really nice. Another rollerball pen from Kaweco, or Kaweco, some people call it, I'm not sure how you pronounce it 100%, but this is the, from their Sport, this is the Frosted Sport, uh, in the lime color. 
Um, again, another rollerball pen, a bit different from the other one uh, in terms of its size. Kind of interesting as it's a pretty small pen and then you unscrew the cap. You could still write with it like this, but if you put this on the back, then it extends it. It makes for a nice writing, comfortable grip. Really nice, writes really smooth as well. A couple more pens from Koweiko. Uh, these are both the same. These are their Click ballpoint pens. I just have it in two colors. This is the, I think this is called the Papaya or something like that, and this is the Lime as well. Both in their Frosted series. I just really like that that color. Really nice, just a Click ballpoint pen. I think these are in blue ink, uh, but really nice. Kind of a nice clicky um, feeling. Doesn't make a super loud noise, but it's pretty satisfying feeling. Um, kind of wide, wider pen than a lot of other ones, but still really nice. A bit small, but I can still get a nice grip on it. So I have two of those, just in two different colors. Next up, I've got the Sharpie S-Gel. This is more of a recent um, pen than I started using. Um, I think I kind of started, not heard about it for the first time, but thought I would try it out after hearing it from um, Surviving the Daily. I think he uses these Sharpie S-Gels a lot. So I thought I'd pick one up. I got a two pack, so I got, got two of them. Uh, but a nice kind of, um, yeah, as a gel pen. Um, writes really nice. Um, got a nice rubber grip here. A uh, nice clicky action. Uh, I'm very fidgety, so I like when pens have a nice click. Um, but yeah, really nice, really nice uh, pen. Next up. Um, I guess this could be substituted for the regular Sharpie as well, but I have this. This is from Milwaukee. This is the Ink Sol. Um, I like this because it has a really nice, super fine, um, maybe not super fine, but pretty fine tip compared to a lot of Sharpies that I've used in the past. So really nice to have a, a permanent marker. Um, and I bought a four pack or five pack of these for a couple bucks from Home Depot. So I like to have one of those around as well. Another marker I have, this one's maybe a bit more of a novelty, but um, I do like the markers that this brand makes. This is from Artline. Um, I've had some of their markers before in the past. I picked this chubby one up because I saw it in a store recently for a couple bucks. So kind of a more of a fun one uh, to be used for drawing or something like that. Uh, it's got the chisel tip, as you can see. Um, so not really an EDC um, marker, but after the, uh, with the um, Milwaukee, I thought I would throw that in just for fun. Next up is this pen. Now this is from a brand called Mordeco. You can, might be able to see that there. It's kind of engraved on the cap there. Really nice kind of classy pen. It's got this sort of brass um, cap made out of a wood handle. Unscrews. Um, and it has a really, it's hard to explain, but really different writing um, feel compared to a lot of other pens that I've used. But writes really nice, has a really smooth ink. Um, it seems to, seems to, um, from my experience, and just a nice classy pen. It doesn't have a clip or anything like that, so usually I'll keep this in a pouch or something. Um, but just a really nice, sleek, classy with that brass and wood handle. Next up, I've talked about this pen a lot. This is the Zebra telescoping pen. So it's in this form, nice and compact, and then you just pull out and it expands to a more full-size pen. Really nice, writes really smooth. Um, obviously, store is nice and compact. Uh, has a nice, really nice clip, as you can see there. Um, one of my favorites. I talk about this in a lot of my videos because I carry this in my uh, Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro uh, wallet. Uh, I have that clipped in there. So I use this almost every day. And yeah, these came in a two pack as well. So I've got two of them. All right, next up. This isn't the, a pen, this is a pencil. A mechanical pencil from Twisby. Um, more so known for their fountain pens. Uh, but this is called the Twisby um, Junior Pagoda. Really nice mechanical pencil. I started writing with mechanical pencils fairly recently as well. 
Um, just really nice. It's made of this, I'm not sure what material it is, it might even be aluminum, but nice durable feel, has a rubberized grip here section um, with the pocket clip. Um, and yeah, this is in the 0 0.7 um, millimeter, so one of the thicker uh, mechanical pencil uh, leads, but re writes really nice. And it has an eraser here at the tail if you pull off the, the cap. All right, next up, I've got this pen. This is from Big Idea Designs. This is their mini pen, mini titanium pen. Um, and this one is uh, kind of interesting as it, um, if you twist this section here at the back, then the pen comes out. <clears throat> uh, this one uses the D1 refills and it comes with the gel as well as the ballpoint. I think I have the gel inserted in here right now. And it has this lanyard on the end with this pretty cool titanium bead. Um, and I don't think you can, you can probably take the lanyard off if you just um, obviously cut it, but I like it on there, uh, it looks nice. Um, really nice little small EDC pen and with made out of titanium and has the black um, anodization, I think it's called. Um, so yeah, really nice little pen from Big Idea Design. And I have another pen from Big Idea Design as well. This is the titanium bolt action pen. Really nice pen, it's developed a nice kind of patina over time. I've had this one for quite quite some time now. Um, this is just in the stone washed titanium. Um, it has the bolt action here. Uh, came with an additional um, titanium Damascus bolt, so I put that on. Adds a nice kind of pop of color and design. Uh, has a nice bolt action um, mechanism and feel and so snaps back really easily, pushes in, and then just by pushing this a little bit, snaps back in. Writes really nice. These are one of those pens, this is one of the pens that you can add a variety of different inserts in, and since this section here, um, you can screw and unscrew to um, fit the insert appropriately, so it's able to use a lot of different inserts. Got it, has a nice uh, deep carry pocket clip there, and just a really nice pen. Um, these are pretty expensive, so this is probably one of the more expensive pens that I have, but still very nice. Next up, I've got the Olite Open Pro, and I have this one in orange here. So you can see there, it says Open Pro. Um, I got this in the orange, I think it's made of a, out of aluminum. Um, really nice, again, has the bolt action. Really nice fidgety um, bolt action. Uh, I could fidget with this all day. Um, writes pretty nice as well. And then obviously it has a flashlight out of the uh, clip there just by pushing up on the bolt. It has multiple different modes. So if you push it once and then press and hold, then it will cycle through. And then if you push on the bolt and hold, it will uh, activate the green green laser pointer there. Really nice pen from uh, Olight, but in particular, this next one is the one that I use the most. Again, this is the o, o Pen Pro, Olight O Pen Pro, <clears throat> but this is in their brass bark design, I think it's called. So it's ma made out of brass um, all the way around really nice pretty hefty pen adds quite a bit of weight compared to the um, this one here the aluminum one um, but just really nice I just really love the look of this and the feel of it and the weight in hand along with that bolt action um, there's just something about it that I really really enjoy usually I'll carry this one in a pouch because I actually lost <laughs> one of these so this is the second one that I've had so I don't want to lose it so if I'm going to take it out for or to carry it for a day, I'll usually keep it in a pouch in a bag because I don't want it to fall out of my pocket or something like that because these are pretty expensive. Um, but really nice um, brass bark. As you can see, it has that tree bark design. It still has the, the lines there, same on here. Uh, but then within that, it has this bark, tree bark design. Just really nice, um, kind of bit bit of a classy um, pen. Just really like the materials and the way it feels. Next up, I've got this one. This is from um, Fisher. This is one of their Fisher Space Pens. Um, 
This is just in the click design. Um, I got this one on discount because it didn't have a clip, so normally there would be a clip attached onto where these two little holes are, but I didn't mind that. I got it for a pretty good discount. And this one um, just is a click, so it clicks out. Really nice pen. Um, I haven't used this one in a little while, but it's a nice, uh, just reliable uh, pen from Fisher. Um, really nice. Obviously, it's in their Space Pen series, so it can write in space and write underwater and upside down and all that kind of stuff. Next up is this one. Kind of a, not super unusual, but kind of a unique pen. This is from a brand called um, Paraphernalia. Um, and kind of just a really nice design, in my opinion. Really sleek. Um, it's all just one, you know, the same size all the way down. And then the cap comes off here. And you can insert it in the back. So then it still kind of keeps that sleek design. Um, and then just is a ballpoint uh, refill here. Nothing super fancy, doesn't write especially well, um, but it writes nice. But honestly, it's just the design for me that I really, really enjoy. All right, coming to the end here. I've got a few pens of the same type, but that's the Vic four color pen. Um, pretty classic pen, not even just an EDC, but just everyone knows what these are. Um, these are a classic, kind of nostalgic pen. Obviously it has the four black, green, blue, and red inks. Um, very classic pen. I think if you were to show this to anybody, they would know exactly what it is. This one I got with the Star Wars design. I've had this one for for a long time. I don't, I don't even remember how long, but still, still works. But since then, I've picked up a couple of different versions. Um, this one is more of the considered the classic, I guess, with the blue um, body here and then just with the white on top. Um, so really nice, still works well. And this one is more of a recent um, one that I got, which I, I do really like. Um, still the big four color pen, but it's a bit more of a color um, combination that I like better than this blue one. Um, and the other thing that's really nice is it has a rubberized grip section here, which neither of these ones have. They're just the, the plastic all the way down. But this one has a rubberized grip, which makes it really nice for writing, gives you a good grip, and it's just a bit of a nicer feel in hand. And I just like the, the color combination. It's a little bit more, a bit more sleek, in my opinion, with the gray and the black. Next up. This pen, this is a pe another pen from Zebra, and this is their um, X701 pen. Really nice um, pen um, in this black uh, finish. Um, has a nice click action, as you can see there. Has a really nice fine, uh, fine tip, um, and it has a nice pocket clip here. Has a little attachment right there for a lanyard or something like that, or a keychain. Um, but just a really nice pen. Um, I like this one quite a lot, and I've been using it lots as well to write with. A few more here. I think a lot of people will know what this is. This is the Fisher Bullet Space Pen. Really nice, pretty classic in the EDC community at this point. Everyone really knows what this one is about. Um, really nice, sleek design, as you can see there. Um, pen pops out. Um, then you've got, the obviously, the grip here. It's texturized here a little bit, which gives it a bit of a better grip to hold on to. And then if you put the cap on the end, then it gives you a larger um, grip area. But yeah, with the texturing there, it gives a nice area for my fingers to hold on to. And it writes, writes really nice. And again, at this point, pretty classic in the EDC community. A couple more here. Kind of some unique uh, ones in my collection. I've got another mechanical pencil. This is a mini mechanical pencil. This is from a brand called Oto. This is called their Sharp Pencil. As you can see there, a uh, mechanical pencil. So obviously has the lead. Uh, you can expand or uh, push out. Um, eraser here at the top. Got a nice little uh, pocket clip there. Um, I don't carry this one in the pocket. I'll usually carry it in a pouch or something like that. But just a really nice little tiny mechanical pencil. And honestly, it's just kind of a cute and fun pencil. 
And I think this is the last one that I've got. Yep, looks like it is this one. This is actually from Flytanium. Um, obviously known for their uh, pocket knife scales and different titanium accessories, but this is a uh, titanium mini bolt action pen. So it has this little keychain here at top, which is nice, or key ring, and it has a bolt action. So you can see the bolt there. Um, very slim and minimal. It's almost even hard to see where the bolt is, but I got a nice little bolt action there. Nice fidgety feel and sound. And writes pretty nice. Got the insert obviously comes out there. Um, super slim and small, but you can still get a pretty decent grip. I mean, you wouldn't be wanting to write a book or an essay with this, but jot a quick note down or something like that in my field notes book works perfect for that. Um, I have carried it on my keychain before with my keys, but lately I've just been carrying it in my Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro. Um, or Yeah, Zip Pouch Pro. So yeah, really nice little slim titanium pen from Flytanium. So that's all the pens that I've got. Let's see, how many are there in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And I've, that's not even half of the ones that I own. I still own way, way, way more than that, but these are the ones that I use the most for everyday carry. Um, do you have any of these pens? I'd love to hear if you have any of them and which ones you like in the comments down below. And I'd also love to hear what your favorite EDC pen is. I'm always looking to get some more pens, some more unique ones, and some different uh, pens to add to the collection, so I'd love to hear your recommendations. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. And as well, if you could subscribe. If you like my other videos, that would be great. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Uh, for the, the next week. Other than that, that's it. I hope you have a great day. Take care.